So this is Jamak. He's an Australian white tree frog and I want to build him a new enclosure. But before we get into that, let me first tell you guys about the derp himself, Jamak. So I've had this green mofo since he was the size of my fingernail. And within all that time, I've seen him grow into the thick boy that he is today. And when I say thick, I mean thick with two C's and a little bit of sass, you know what I mean? Whatever. So this amphibian hails from Australia and has some of the best feeling butt that I've ever encountered. <laughs> oh, it smells good too. What did he say? Yo, come back, bro, please. I just want to touch it, bro. Please, come on, chill. Chill, no need with the hippity-hoppity. I said stop jumping, bro. Come on, dude, please, calm down. It's not that serious. Just let me get what I want. Just let me, yeah, just get right there and let me get what I want. Yeah, let me just... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's the good touchings. Hey, don't try to don't try to kick me away, fool. Let me get a good little... Let me get a good little... Yeah. Daddy, chill. Anyways, before I get canceled by PETA for frog roping, let's go ahead and build this fool's enclosure. You need a thing. <laughs> So I'm going to be keeping Jamak in this tall glass enclosure just because these frogs are known to live high up into the canopies of trees in the wild, which means an arboreal enclosure is a must-have in captivity. When it comes to the substrate, I'll be using this jungle mix just because it's going to hold in the humidity well within the enclosure, plus it's composed of a bunch of delicious things like sphagnum moss, peat moss, decaying leaves, charcoal, everything I'll need. To grow this bad boy right here, shit! <laughs> As you guys can see, this plant was not doing the best in Jamak's old enclosure. It's got some yellowing on the freaking branches or whatever the hell you want to call those things, leaves. So hopefully this new substrate is going to give it the nutrients that it needs to grow into the plant that it was destined to be. Ah! Now we're going to bury the roots, just like I buried my love for Stephanie in grade 4. <laughs> Perfect! Frago needs his water dish so that he doesn't dry out. And some driftwood to climb on. I'll be sticking this piece of cork bark right here. And this smaller piece of bark will go right here so that the cleanup crew, isopods, springtails, and whatever the hell else I decide to add into this enclosure will have something to hide under. Oh yeah, and here's this bamboo stick thing that the frog can perch itself on. Obviously, Jamak needs to eat. That's why I got these roaches. We got some Dubia roaches. We got some Red Runner roaches. We got some Madagascar Halloween hissing cockroaches. Let's just dump these bad boys into the enclosure. Oh crap, this dude's drowning. Let me... Nice shot! Now we're just going to add this dude into his new home. And as you guys can see, he's absolutely vibing on the beach, straight basking like there's no tomorrow. Now the only thing missing is this fool's girlfriend. Should I get him a girlfriend? Let me know in the comments down below.